Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here and I wanted to give you guys just a quick update and just tutorial on how to download the INDS emulator for your iOS devices running 9.3.2, uh, iOS 9.3.2 and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So basically there's going to be two apps that we're going to need to install, from uh, one from the App Store and one from Safari. So if you go into the App Store, uh, under search look up Dropbox this actually this is a, an amazing application that runs well with the INDS emulator and it will save all your save data all your ROMs that you've downloaded from the internet everything that you have will be saved to this Dropbox and it's kind of like a cloud sharing it's quite like a cloud an extra f like five gigs of cloud memory for your iOS or iOS devices and uh, it's just it's an amazing app so if you do um, have the chance go ahead and download that because that works very well with this emulator second we're going to go under safari and i personally did a check for just for inds and the very first site was i emulators that i came to and uh once you tap on this application here you can hit install and we'll hit install inds and the prompt 2 will come up We'll hit install and we'll back out. We don't need to do any sort of like date or time tricks or anything like that. The emulator will go ahead and ins we'll install all the way. The only thing that we need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to go to general. Scroll all the way down to profiles and device management and we'll go to the Beijing cloud point technology. We'll tap on that to trust it. And then we're going to go ahead and back out and that's it. The emulator will, will go ahead and launch and it'll be fine. So... What you're going to want to do is when you open up the emulator under this gear here, if you notice, there's a Dropbox section. Go ahead and enable the Dropbox sync, and it's going to ask you, once you've created your profile in Dropbox, it's going to ask you to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and I'll be right back. Awesome. So once you've uh, once you've logged in to your Dropbox account, it's automatically going to sync anything from your Dropbox into your uh, into the INDS emulator. So whenever you get a game online or if you have saved any sort of data, all that stuff is saved to Dropbox, and uh, what you call it, and you can later on transfer it to the GBA for iOS emulator because. Well, actually, it's not even saved to the G not even saved to the Dropbox. It's saved to INDS, and from there, INDS, uh, because you're linked to your Dropbox, will shoot it to your Dropbox, and it will save it in there. So that way, you'll never lose any of your save data. So if the emulator crashes, you won't have to worry about, you know, um, you know, wrong or your 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 save data going away. It will always be saved in your Dropbox. And you can actually I've deleted my Dropbox before and got it back and all my save data was still there. So it's I think it's almost impossible to lose this if you manually delete it. So that's I think it's the only way. So let me I was just in it just a minute ago. Let me show you the user interface. So under files here, once you open up the applications, um you can go under this file section and it has all my save data from and look and if you notice most of it's like from five months ago we have three six seven minutes ago six months ago all this is files and save data that i had and it continues to store it on its um on its on its servers so if i wanted an emulate or if i wanted a rom or an inds uh, or an NDS ROM, I have one Pokemon Blaze Black 2, I can go ahead and tap on that, and I can go ahead and download it. So let me show a different one. Let me see here. So I have Soul Silver patched. I can uh, remove this from the device. I can copy, I can delete it, but I can also open this file or open this emulator within INDS. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I actually personally like Blaze Black 2. It's more the newer ones, and I kind of prefer that one too because I've been working on that one for a while. I'm going to go ahead and open that one in the INDS. Give it a second. It might take a second to, to pop up, but it'll go ahead and export the file back to INDS, and there it goes. And it'll go ahead, and you can play it. You can run it. Unfortunately, AirShout doesn't allow me to play the... Um, 
or to play any sort of ROMs and screen record at the same time. I don't know why it doesn't allow us to do that, but that's just Airshow. I have run into the same problem with GBA for iOS. So anyways, there you have it. There you have your, your game. You can also search. They have a search bar here. So if you do have a certain site that you get your ROMs from and you have the actual game, you can get your ROMs from that site and you can uh, like it'll automatically bring you to a Google search page where it'll ask you, you know, which site do you want to go to and you can choose from your your choosing. But once you have that that game saved or and you have it on the INDS and it's synced to the Dropbox, you'll never lose it again. You'll never have a save data that's like just that's been wiped. You can always resume back from your game and that's just the beauty of INDS. I, I honestly love this application a little bit more than GBA for iOS because there's just a couple of newer games out on this. But the fact that it's just so user friendly and so easy to use uh, and it's it, ha it doesn't crash like every other day. Uh, it's just an, uh, it's an emulator and an application that I keep on my phone uh, and I never get rid of. So that's my uh, tutorial on how to get INDS on your iOS devices running 9.3.2. Uh, if you guys do have any problems or do have any issues or want to know how I did the whole Dropbox thing, please comment below. Uh, give this um, this video a thumbs up, rate, subscribe. I'm almost close to 100 subscribers. I, I cannot wait. This week I will be posting a um, a video as to show my things and I do want to give back to you guys so I will be doing a giveaway so stay in tune for that and I hope you guys have a good rest of your Memorial Day please pray and support your troops uh, they do so much just so we can have the liberties that we have every single day so please go and support your troops and uh, and definitely pray for those guys because they have it so hard uh, my brother-in-law is actually a part of the military and just I, I couldn't be more proud of him and the people that serve and protect our country. So I hope you guys have a good Memorial Day and a good rest of your weekend. Peace.